how to write type safe programs is a great feature of TypeScript, but what about third party libraries? Let's install here a very commonly used third party library in our project. It's called Lodash. This will allow us to do data manipulation, for example, to handle arrays of data. In order to install it, we type npm install Lodash minus minus save. After a moment, the latest version of Lodash will be installed and Lodash will be added here as a dependency in our package.json. Now we can use Lodash in our program, so let's simply import it here by using the common.js require statement. We are going to import Lodash and we are going to assign it to this constant. Now notice one thing, we have here a TypeScript error, cannot find name require. So the TypeScript compiler does not know the require function. This is a Node.js specific function. We're going to see how to solve this problem in a moment. First, I would like to show you that despite the fact that there is an error, the compiler is still producing an output that can be executed. So let's say that, for example, we have here an array of colors. We could use Lodash, even though we have a compilation error, we could use Lodash to extract the first color from the colors array. So if we do console.log, we should expect to see red in the console. If we try this out, we can see that the color red is being printed, which shows that the program is still working despite the compilation error. Now, we might not want this behavior. We might prefer to prevent the TypeScript compiler from generating an output if it finds an error. So in this case, we need to go to our tsconfig.json and we choose the no emit on error option, which is by default false, but we are going to set it to true. If we go back to this file learning types and we delete the output of the compiler, we hit control S and we're going to see that now no output is being generated because an error is found cannot find name required. So how do we fix this? Besides this error, cannot find name or require, there is another problem here. The underscore variable, we don't have autocompletion to know which methods are available in the underscore library. So this is a situation when we are using third party libraries, we want to import a type definition for the library, if it's a plain JavaScript library, so that we can use the features of TypeScript, even though the library itself was not written in TypeScript. With TypeScript 2, we can import type definitions directly from NPM. So let's first install the type definitions for the node runtime environment, which will include the require function. So to install it, we simply install npm install at types slash node. So this will import us all the type definitions for a node.js runtime so that we can write node.js programs in TypeScript. We are going to add minus minus save dev, or if you prefer the shorthand minus D, this will install the typings here under node modules, you now have here a folder at types. And if you open it, you can see here that you have the type definitions for the node runtime. And also you can see that the TypeScript compiler is by default configured to implicitly look inside these directories. So you do not need to add any specific configuration to the tsconfig.json, defining the typings routes, etc., for using it with at types. Any type definition that you install using at types will be implicitly added to your program. Now let's take a look at the required type definition. If you go here and we hit command shift F and we search by the word require, we can see here in this search result that require is defined here. Require is of type node require function. So this is a function type definition. We are using an interface with a single method. And you can see here what the declaration of the Node.js runtime typings look like. So this gives us autocompletion for all this functionality that is available in the runtime. So let's now do the same for Lodash. If we do npm install at types slash Lodash, we are going to have the Lodash types here installed as well. So if we go to package.json, we have here as development dependencies, 
at types slash lodash. If we go to node modules, we can confirm that the lodash types are there, but we are still not using them in our program because we are using the require statement. So how can we take advantage of the lodash type definitions? In order to know the type of the functions that are exposed by Lodash, we should import it not using the require statement, but instead we should import it using the ECMAScript 6 syntax. So we are importing from the Lodash module, we are importing anything that the module is exporting, so it should only export one variable, so the CommonJS module of Lodash should only export one variable in order for this to work and we are renaming whatever we receive from that export as lodash. Let's try now autocompletion to see what functions are available. So we can see here that all the type definitions for the functions that are available in the lodash data manipulation library are here available via autocompletion. And this is very useful to build our program. Notice that the node types are global, so that is typically the use case for a types. We don't need to always install an add types module in order to add types to a given module. There are many modules already available like Firebase, Angular Fire 2, which already come with their own types whenever we install them. So for those specific modules, the TypeScript compiler will take the type definitions from the module itself. 